What uh, the, the last couple drives for Northern? Um, I don't know. I guess kind of just describe what happened out there. Yeah, I mean, they had a good game plan. Caught us on a couple defenses that they had good pass concepts for, and they made plays. Um, the fumble um, right before halftime ended up being a pretty critical play once you look at the final score and everything. Um, was that just like an instinctive play on your part to go after the ball, basically, toward the goal line? Yeah, they always say second guy in, you know, try to get the ball out. Uh, Nate went low, so I went high. He kind of tried, I think he tried to kind of reach the ball out, and I just hit him hard. Uh, I haven't been able to play in a long time, so wanted to hit somebody. Yeah, I mean, the past three weeks has been pretty tough. Huh? Yeah, it's been tough, um, but, you know, I've been pouring into my guys. Uh, uh, E-Man last week, uh, that's what we call uh, Emmanuel McWarren. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, he had a great game, and, you know, I was just super proud of him, and then, you know, he made another great play at the end of this game that would have sealed the deal if it weren't for the offside. So uh, it's been good. What? I was just what you see at Dallas is kind of a great crunching tackle. What, what kind of deep breath did you guys all take there? Yeah, I mean, I, I was in coverage running the opposite way, and so I turned around and just saw the dude getting tackled. But, you know, as they said that there was nothing but green grass. So, you know, that's just a senior guy, captain, making a, you know, and potentially. Uh, season saving tackle right there. So. How did it just feel out there playing again? And like you said, finally hitting someone again. Yeah, no, I, I love football. So it was just a joy to be back out there. The crowd was amazing. Uh, so it, it was it was so much fun. Well, I mean, overall, what did you think of the defense today? If you were to assess it right now? Uh, we got a lot of clean up. We got, you know, I think they had a pretty good game plan for us. Um, but, you know, I think we still played hard, and we ended up making plays when we had to make them. So, you know, we got a lot of things to correct, but you know, it's early in the season, and you know, a win's a win. So. Yeah, the uh, the long touchdown. What? Uh, I mean, when, when you caught it, I mean, obviously still very far from the end zone. I mean, did you see the defenders and just kind of think, you know, what do I have to do to make that miss? I mean, I kind of it was kind of instinct. I kind of know where I left him, so I know he was in my inside right. I had to make that move. So I knew I had to make that to get to the end zone, my first touchdown. So I just wanted to get in there for real. Your knee that was talked about a lot in the spring and fall camp about someone the rise and, and you know, being a factor in the offense. Like, what's changed? Like, how did you kind of approach the offseason to I get mean, yourself in this position? I mean, I, I just knew I could add a lot of value to this team. So in my offseason, I just worked extra hard, came back with a mindset of, let's go, let's work. And that's been working so far. Yeah, what do you think of Daquan's performance today? Obviously, he gets hurt last week, he's carted off. Mm -hmm. People are wondering what's going to happen this weekend. I mean, he was as, as good as he's ever been today. Yeah, I mean, he did a really good job. He did a great job finding all of our receivers. He did a good job finding me. I mean, I think our connection is building over time real strong. So I think that's a good thing. He did a good job. What kind of lift was it having him back? I think everybody was wondering, not nah, could he come back, but how much time would he miss? How was it to see him just right back? We didn't really know the time frame. We just knew and just prayed for him and for a speedy recovery. And I mean, he came out to practice. It was a good deal. I was going to say, what did you see throughout the week in practice that kind of gave you maybe the inclination that he could do something like this today? I mean, just just focusing on the little details that we missed from last week. We made a lot of little mistakes last week. So this week, we just focused on cleaning up little mistakes. And we executed pretty well in practice this week. So I think. Doing that, that was a good thing. That made our execution a lot better today. You guys had 542 yards today, scored 49 last week, at 70 against Texas Southern. What, just what do you think of the way this offense is playing this season? I think everyone can see how our offenses start rolling. They gonna, they see how it's all rolling. So I think that's pretty much it for the offensive side. When you went down last week, did you think that you were going to be out for a long time? Um, to be honest, I kind of didn't know. You know. I was just letting God just do what He do, just let Him take care of the course, and I just you know control what I can control. So, um, thankfully, you know I'm healthy. Um, the trainers did a great job, you know, of helping me recover in that in that sense, and um, I'm back. So, shoulder is that what? Uh, no, nah, it was my back. Not yeah. And how did I mean? Did you feel like a hundred percent out there today? Of course, of course. What was just this week like for you, kind of going through not only like the mental side, but then figuring out if you were going to have your full body ready to go by today? 
Yeah, just really, um, like I said, just trying to control what I can control. Um, you know, I'm going hard in the training room and rehab. You know, uh, you know, Coach Adam, Barta, you know, Aaron, and all them. Those guys, you know, they did a great job of helping me. You know, I'm in there five o'clock in the morning, just rehabbing, just making sure I can do what I can do to, you know, perform to my highest ability for the team. So, um, yeah. So once again, I just pretty much just give thanks to them. So. What is kind of the emotional swing in a week like that? Like you said, you don't know and then you get to go ahead. Like how, I don't know, how, how blessed do you feel in a week like this to right after getting carted off and going to the hospital to be right back and playing an awesome game? Yeah, uh, I'm extremely blessed, you know, like I said, just give thanks to the man above. And, um, you know, just like I said, just going hard this whole, all last week and, um, you know, Talking to you know coaches and all that, just making sure I'm right mentally as far as you know preparing for the game, and I was just you know getting extra throws in on my own you know throughout the weekend, just make sure I'm the best that I can be all the time. So and you guys have shown a lot of flashes over the years, but was today kind of a break with the run game going, the offensive line, you throwing the ball? Was today kind of did it feel like it all came together today in a way, and kind of a preview of what you guys can do? Um, I feel as though it did, but. I feel as though we got a lot more that we can that we left out there, you know. Um, like I said, I want to give thanks to my my O line because they did a great job this whole game, you know, pass blocking, running block, like everything, the whole full course. They did a great job, and uh, you know, running backs did a great job as well. The receivers did a good job, so we all just executed, executed, you know, as, as one. And that's what happened. So. You, you had an incompletion in your first pass, and then you had eight straight completions after that. I mean, just. Because of the circumstances of being injured last week and everything, did that kind of get you into the game and get your confidence going for I mean, no, uh, like, I kind of wasn't really thinking about my back at the moment. I was kind of thinking about, you know, the plays and, you know, just uh, recognizing the defense, you know, just trying to do what I can to help the team win. So, how, how big of an addition is Junior Vanderhoff's as the emergence of that? Great addition. Um, you know, uh, Dev went down due to an injury and, um, He's back now, but you know, Junior stepped up in a most pivotal moment, and, and we needed him. He rose to the occasion, and um, <laughs> that guy's gonna be special one day. So, and then like behind this line, whether you're handing the ball off or you're standing back there being protected, I don't know. Is this like as confident as you've ever been that they're gonna do the job? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, I just thank the OGs every chance that I get, you know, when it's after practice, when it's, you know, uh, just talking to them in the meeting room, just any chance I get, I'm just thanking them because, you know, they did a great job. They're doing a good job, a great job this season. So, uh, like I said, we're not done yet. And you know, we can obviously get better at everything. So, job made for me. We've come to expect that almost every game, you and Jawan Newton will hook up for a touchdown. Just what do you feel like makes your chemistry so special between you two? Uh, that was my roommate my freshman year. So uh, just us, you know, going in an indoor, throwing passes, you know, late at night. And it was just sneaking in there, trying to sneaking in there, trying to get uh, throw passes. Uh, that's silly. But, um, you know, like we were really close. And, um, you know, I went down there, met his family. Like, I'm, I'm still cool with his family to the day. Like, we were real close. And, like, it's, it's deeper than that. So, uh, my and that's, that's not just him. That's everybody in the, in the on the offense. Like our bond is just real tight, and you could just you could just tell when we get on the field. And all MAC opponents are important, but of course, NIU had come in here and beaten you guys the past two times in the Glass Bowl. So, just is there an extra added layer of sweetness to this victory, knowing that you did it on homecoming after it kind of had been spoiled the past two years? Yeah, um, you know, um, it was mentioned, but. Uh, like, like we said, we just try to focus on Toledo football and just try to, you know, just be the best version that we can be at all times. And once that happens, everything else is going to take care of itself. So, Really proud of our football team. Um, you know, tough game, you know, hard to win college football games, especially when they're close. Some things can go either way there. Obviously, a lot of mistakes on the videotape that I'd like to take off and fix, and we'll work hard this week to do that. Um, but, uh, you know, be able to go through this home stretch here and to to hold serve on our home court here is, is I think huge um, you know I'm in the minority here a little bit in the sense that I'm, I was one of the few that didn't that, or that, that didn't believe that Northern Illinois was going to come in here and lay down for us and uh, you know they're still they got a quarterback that's a 
you know, won a MAC championship, and the coaches, you know, won a MAC championship, and there's only a couple of those in this league. And uh, you know, proud team, proud fight from them, and uh, they're much better on offense today. And obviously, defensively, we got some things we got to correct, and we'll work hard to do that. But God, it was a great crowd today. Awesome to have Coach Amstutz back in the house today, and have him come down and say a couple words to the team afterwards. And um, you know, and I really, you know, I think that sometimes that goes understated and, and, and underappreciated. Here is like we have, like awesome alumni like we have awesome former players that uh take a lot of pride in this place and it makes toledo special in that sense and um glad to have them around glad to have a bunch of them back today and uh, a lot of them in the locker room down there to enjoy a, a great win with our team so that being said i'll take your questions i mean daquan's performance today had he not been injured last week would have been very impressive i think it's even more impressive uh how i don't know just you obviously saw up close this week going through the rehab process with everyone described it. What, what, just what did you think overall? What do you think I mean, obviously a great performance and, you know, um, you know, at this time last week I'm rushing out of here to go see him in the hospital. So, I mean, uh, you know, thankfully everything checked out of there okay. And obviously I think we got we got some good practice out of him this week. I thought, you know, a really good focus from him leading up to the game. And, you know, his, his statistics would reflect what his preparation was, and I think that's a, that's a sign of a good leader and a good quarterback. What, what do you think four, is this four games, five games? Like, um, of the outlets. I mean, you guys have really hit on all cylinders, it seems like, most of the time. I mean, we've had we've had our – we were aided through in the early part of the season by a tremendous third down play, uh, and we weren't – we were nothing today on third down. Now we got a couple fourth down conversions that, that helped us out. But, uh, you know, I thought, you know, and obviously we'd love to take the air out of the clock there at the end of the game and end the, end the game with the ball in the offense's hands. But uh, I give our offensive staff and our kids a lot of credit because they really do a good job preparing, um, you know, and we've had to do it. A bunch of guys have had to do it, you know, and beginning of the year, Junior Van Der Ross is not a starter. You know, we're out without Dev again today and, you know, um, you know, a lot of guys have had to step up, you know, and there's been a few guys that have been super consistent. Jerwan Newton has been as consistent as the day is long, and that's just who he is as a human being. And when you have a leader like that in each position room, uh, man, like, you know, talk about the power of a unit, man. you really got a leader and you got a person that you can look to and, and see what it looks like rather than hearing what he thinks it looks like. You just got to watch that guy work. Uh, so I think that's inspirational for a guy like Junior Vandeross and some of these young players that have stepped up. Um, I know, and uh, we, we're going to need some, we're going to need those guys as we continue to go down the stretch. So, but uh, credit our staff and our kids to, for preparing, and then going out and, on Saturday and executing. What I mean, this is kind of a weird game because it seemed like you guys controlled most parts of it, and then the end was, was weird. Do you, I mean, to you, does it feel like you escaped, or does it feel like you played really well and then? Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously, you know, you've been around long enough to know what I, what I think. You know what I mean? I, I think that. You know, we have a lot of things to correct and a lot of things to get better at, and I'll always say that standing up here. Um, you know, they got a weird first half. I mean, there's not a lot of points, a ton of yards, but not a lot of points. And I think, again, back to third down conversions and extending drives, um, you know, we had it on the 30-yard line at one point in time, and I think we ended up fourth and 14 on the 38. Like, that's going backwards. Like, that's not good football. So, you know, those things, uh, you take away, a, a, you know, potential to get points there for sure. Um, you know, and I think our statistically, we're as good as anybody in the country when we get in the red zone, you know, up through five games. So, you know, you want to be able to get the ball down there and you want to be able to put yourself in position to, to execute that part of the plan. Um, and I thought today we failed. You know, two weeks in a row we've given the other team a touchdown on a fumble. Like, that's not winning football. It's, that's bad football. So we, we've got to continue to understand and value the ball. Um, what that looks like no matter who's carrying it. But um, when you can run the ball for 200 yards and you can complete a high percentage of passes, uh, you are playing efficient offense. Now I'm going to take turnovers off, like I said, and um, we got a couple, you know, one of the third downs on the screen pass and it was a first down early on in the game is a holding penalty that comes back. So a couple of those things we got to address and we got to correct and see what's up. Uh, but, you know, work in progress like every team. I know the defense wasn't at its best today, but they obviously – well, I think I have a tremendous amount of respect for that front of Northern Illinois. Like that's a good front, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have anticipated the yardage to be what it is today. Uh, you know, for, on our side leading into the game, I, mean, I think that's a hard front to run the ball against. Um, they don't do a bunch of things to beat themselves. They're really sound. 
I think their coaches have done a really good job with that unit. Um, you know, and it was good to see. You know, I, I don't I don't know how many times in the last couple of years where the other teams had to, had the ball at the end of the game and we finished with a win. You know what I mean? And uh, that was great to see today. So um, I think there's a lot of positives to pull from. And, you know, in all three phases of the game, we'll do a great job this week of correcting our mistakes as we, as we move on. What was your, what did you see out of Dallas' kind of shoestring tackle there to save the day? Yeah, I mean, I thought I saw him break out. Um, obviously, check the coverage real quick to see what, would, you know, if we had those guys covered up. And uh, he did, and, or we did. And, you know, uh, Lombardi's a good athlete. You know what I mean? But, Thankfully, Dallas is just a little bit quicker and uh, was able to get him on the ground. And I knew with no timeouts there, and you know they're in the, they weren't going to be able to stop the clock. So, uh, and they talked. We talked about that in the timeout. So, you know, a great individual play by him. And you know, he's a uh, in tough games and tough moments. You want your seniors to be at their best, and some really good, you know, really good tough seniors played played really, really good today. And some of them you don't see in the stat sheet because they, they play on the offensive defensive line. But uh, um, yeah, good team win led by some good seniors, including Dallas Camp. Speaking of that, how nice was it to just have Max and Hook back out there again uh, for the first time since the season opener? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a. You guys know what he means to us, captain. Big lift. Um, I'm sure he's going to be sore tomorrow, um, but uh, he's an emotional lift. He's a obviously he's a lift from his consistency in his play, and uh, you know obviously the guys around him when he's out there they have a little bit more confidence too. Um, you know, so yeah, super excited to get him back out there and, and excited for him to, to finish out this year. You still have a good chunk of games left on the schedule, but with the unique situation of this kind of like four game home stand all on the Saturdays, does it almost feel like a sense of like mission complete, walking away with the four wins at home during this stretch? Yeah, now we've got another mission. We'll go on the road for the next 36 straight weeks. So um, <laughs> mission, another mission ahead of us. So, um, but obviously always, you know, uh, four weeks, really good weather on Saturdays, great crowds. Great for the city of Toledo, great for our university, awesome, and even better that we won them all. Just a big picture, last week was crazy, this week comes down to the final play. Do, do these games just, uh, what's your blood, blood, blood pressure like again? Do you see my hair? I mean, what's, what, <laughs> what is it like going through this? Well, I mean, it's college football. It's going to happen. I'm sure there's 12 other games today that are the same, I and mean, I have no idea what they are, but I guarantee you there are. Um, but you got to trust your team. You got to trust your guys. You got to trust your seniors. I mean, we we don't. This isn't a speech you give to the team on Monday, and it's certainly not some pregame speech that just lights a fire and makes everybody go, you know, run their head through a wall and play super lights out better than everybody else. I mean, this is a long haul. This is back. This is these are the fundamental principles in the program building things that we've talked about since January, and now it, it validates. And when they show up on Saturdays, and and you you feel the taste of victory. Um, and that's it helps your culture, continues to strengthen the culture, continues to strengthen the character of the team. And if we can continue to embrace the process and we can continue to build the character of our football team, I think we can continue to expect good things. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to see them in tough moments. Uh, would you like them that way every time? No. I mean, yeah, it's, it heightens your sense of urgency and, you know, yes, your blood pressure goes up. But uh, good to see those, those guys come through in critical moments. The winner of this Northern Toledo game, Often wins the West. They've spoiled your season several times since 2009, whenever you got here. Um, is it always sweet to get a win over Northern? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, I can sit here and tell you they all count as one because that's true and that's how we approach it. But, you know, I, uh, having lived that, you know, what you mentioned, I mean, I'm probably one of the few, me and J Bo, the equipment guy, I'm like, we're the one, we're like looking at each other all week, like, man, it's Northern again, you know what I mean? And, um, well, it's a good team. It's a proud program. I mean, it's a championship program. I mean, their their trucks parked out in front. Their equipment truck. Go look at those championships on the side of that on that side of that van. Like that's uh, this is you know these guys are uh, there's a lot of substance there. And uh, you know they had a couple a tough couple weeks. Credit Coach Hammock for having a good plan to come out and give this team the best chance to go win the game and fight. And those kids fought. And like I said, the quarterback is a. And he, I think he told me after the game he's got three degrees. I mean he's he's uh, he's. He's a vet and he's a tough kid and he's a fierce competitor and, um, you know, it's good for our league.